Want to learn how to do any times table in one minute or less? Then click on the link below and master any times table you want. Now on to the video. Hello my fellow intuitive minds and welcome to the video. I hope you enjoyed the first part in this series. Be sure to watch that as we'll be making use of the techniques employed there. Okay, so on to the video. Today we'll be looking at how to multiply and divide fractions. So getting straight into it, let's take a look at multiplying fractions. This is probably one of the simplest techniques when it comes to fractions. Here we literally just multiply the numerators together and multiply the denominators together. So step one, we multiply the numerators and that gives us our new numerator. And step two, we multiply the two denominators together and that gives us the new denominator. So for instance, if we have the fraction one over two multiplied by three over four, multiplying the numerators, we get one times three, which equals three. Then multiplying the denominators, we have two times four, which is eight. So the new fraction becomes three over eight. Let's take a look at another example. Let's consider the improper fractions this time. 5 over 3 times 7 over 4. So multiplying the numerators, we have 5 times 7 equals 35. Then multiplying the denominators, we have 3 times 4, which is 12. So the new fraction becomes 35 over 12. Let's take a look at working with mixed numbers this time. So consider the fraction 1 and 2 thirds times 2 and 3 quarters. As we did in part 1, it would be easier to convert these mixed numbers into improper fractions and then work with them. So converting these mixed numbers into improper fractions, 1 and 2 thirds becomes 5 over 3 or 5 thirds and 2 and 3 quarters becomes 11 over 4 or 11 quarters. And then we can multiply the fractions now. So multiplying the numerators again, 5 times 11 equals 55. Then multiplying the denominators we have 3 times 4 which equals 12. So the new fraction becomes 55 over 12 and that's how easy it is. Let's now take a look at dividing fractions. This is almost identical to multiplying fractions except that there's just one extra step. So when we divide fractions we must remember to flip the second fraction upside down or invert it and instead of dividing we don't actually divide we change the divide sign into a multiplication sign or a time sign and we keep the first fraction the same. So you can remember KFC keep the first fraction, flip the second fraction and change the sign to times. So for instance, if we take the fractions that we worked with before, so 1 over 2 divided by 3 over 4 this time, so we keep the first fraction the same, we flip the second fraction, so 3 over 4 becomes 4 over 3 and we change the divide sign to multiply, so it's 1 over 2 times 4 over 3. Now using what we did in multiplying fractions, we just multiply the numerators and then we multiply the denominators, so 1 times 4 equals 4 and 2 times 3 equals 6. So the new fraction is 4 over 6. Let's take a look at another example. We have 5 over 3 divided by 7 over 4. So using KFC, we keep the first fraction the same, flip the second fraction, so it becomes 4 over 7, and we change the sign to times. So the new question becomes 5 over 3 times 4 over 7. So multiplying the numerators, 5 times 4 is 20. Multiplying the denominators, 3 times 7 is 21. So the new fraction becomes 20 over 21. Let's take a look at working with mixed numbers. So consider 1 and 2 thirds again divided by 2 and 3 quarters. So remember first of all we must change these mixed numbers into improper fractions as it will become easier to work with. So changing them into improper fractions 1 and 2 thirds becomes 5 over 3 and 2 and 3 quarters becomes 11 over 4. So the new question becomes 5 over 3 divided by 11 over 4. Keep the first fraction the same. Flip the second one so it becomes 4 over 11 and we change the sign to times so the new question becomes 5 over 3 times 4 over 11 and working that out multiplying the numerators we get 5 times 4 is 20 then multiplying denominators we have 3 times 11 is 33 so the new fraction becomes 20 over 33 and that's how easy it is okay so try and have a go at how to multiply and divide fractions so that you can get the hang of it and let me know how you got on in the comments below okay so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you found it helpful the more people engage the more people like the more they comment the more they share the more we can help each other and the more we can collectively become intuitive minds if you enjoyed the contents of this video then smash that like button do leave a comment on how you got on and if it helped you at all share with anyone who you think this may benefit 
as we want to create awareness and help raise awareness by helping others reach a better understanding of how to do this work and it would also help with the YouTube algorithm and do subscribe for more tips and tricks like this and other motivational videos so together we can educate innovate and actuate and if you want to become a part of the intuitive minds collective you can check out the brand new intuitive mind store which is full of the latest limited edition designs for t-shirts and hoodies thanks for watching and i'll see you next time